Simon Reeve has visited over 100 countries across six continents and in his new TV series, he is reliving some of his most exciting adventures. Simon Reeve joins me now. Simon, it is so lovely to see you. Thank you. Oh, and it's, it's absolutely lovely to see you. Oh. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no, it's great to see you. And, and what a great idea. We can share all of these adventures again with you kind of highlighting all of the amazing things that you've done over the years. It must be quite difficult, actually, to choose between all of them. You're completely right. <laughs> um, there were one or two arguments between us about what we were going to put in. Uh, no fisticuffs, but um, oh, well, I love you. I love you, of course, but I love you for saying that it's a great idea because it does feel like a little bit of a lockdown pandemic cliche now. Yet another sort of D-list television person wheeling out their back catalogue. But uh, when it was first suggested, I didn't think it was a great idea. But then I thought, only my mum has really watched all of them. So <laughs> we should be able to go back through, what, 100 programmes or something I've made and, and come up with some best bits to wheel out um, and put together in a slightly different way as well. I think there'll be stuff in there that people haven't seen before. And the way we've put them together, I hope, is a bit different. And as part of the whole programmes, I had a bit of a lockdown adventure, all completely COVID compliant in uh, Devon, just to an island off the coast as oh, well. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's fantastic. And for goodness sake, you take us, we are all so missing travelling, and you take us there. It's the next best thing to actually being there. <laughs> and of course, you go to some really dangerous places that obviously we wouldn't go to normally, like, like Mogadishu, for example, that was... Oh, Lorraine, wow. you'd go, come on, you would. I probably would, to be honest, I, pro I probably would, but that was quite, that was remarkable, though. That was a real insight to a place that we don't know enough about. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly think the world is, is much safer than people realise. I think it's much more hospitable than people think, but there are some dodgy areas out there. And part of the job over the years has been to go to some of them, definitely. Mogadishu in Somalia, I've been there a couple of times. And that's that's absolutely near the top of the list for me of the most dangerous places I've been to. Um, very frightening. That's actually me in Devon on the screen there, just giving an example in this incredible journey series of some of the stuff we have to wear. Those are my armoured underpants. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, you have to protect yes. yourself. It's very important. You certainly need to protect your undercarriage, definitely. Very important indeed. So those really are blast boxers, armoured underwear, and then that's uh, going out on the front line. Oh, it's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, like I said, you give us such, a, such an insight. And as well as the dangerous places, obviously wildlife. I mean, we can't get, we can't get enough of that now. What, what are some of your highlights? Wildlife in every possible oh. sense, eh? Goodness. Um, I've been really so lucky. I've met so many, I mean, the people for a start, the incredible people I've met on my journeys, amazing places, the wildlife, orangutans, oh. I think are very spe oh. special and spectacular. I was actually mugged by an orangutan in a national park in Borneo. That's not an experience I'm ever going to forget. I think you've got them there. There's some, some little orangutan orphans as well. A bottle feeding an orangutan baby and then introducing it back into the trees. Wow. That was completely spectacular. It's an experience I'm never going to forget. And you're absolutely right. For those of us who, who love traveling, who love seeing what's over the hill and round the corner, it's been a very difficult time, this pandemic, because travel is very much part of, I think, what it means to be human. And yeah. to have that taken away has been has been painful. Of course, there are people suffering more. Of course, there are people with um, more frightening, scary jobs. Of course, there are. But I think it's been it's been a painful thing to lose over this last year, mm. of course. And I think as well, it, I know one of the, the programmes is going to be about protecting protecting our planet, you know, making sure that we can pass it on to the next generation. And obviously that in a way, which is a shame, it's been kind of sidelined because we're in the middle of a pandemic. But actually, I think this has made us realise just how precious our world is and, and how much we have to do to protect it. So thank you for what you're doing to bring that to our attention. That's very kind. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think there is a risk that we always live in the moment. And the moment now is very painful and very difficult. Absolutely, we're in, in national crisis, definitely. But there is a bigger catastrophe coming towards us that we have known about now for several decades and we absolutely need to be doing something about, and that is our environmental climate crisis, which is a catastrophe of our own making. And we're starting, I'm starting to see 
uh, in quite a major way, the consequences of that playing out elsewhere in the world. And I'm sure it's going to hit us mm. and affect the lives of our children and our grandchildren. Absolutely, we need to address it. And in the fourth programme in this series, we do try and look at some ways to mitigate it and reduce it, which is, of course, planting trees, absolutely, yes. and protecting wild areas around the world. Which is what we've got to do. Right, OK, I can wave a magic wand and right now I can send you somewhere. Where do you want to go? Lorraine's magic wand. I would love to go back to South America, if you could, Magic Fairy. Um, I really would. I was supposed to be travelling down there last year, down through South America for a new TV series. Lucky old me. Uh, never take it for granted. Uh, and I would love to be going back there and travelling. Obviously, that's now COVID central. Yeah. And it, travel is uh, completely restricted to there. But Lorraine's magic wand, I think, is, <laughs> is much needed at this moment. It sure is. One day, one day, we can. We absolutely can. Thank you we so can. much. I, I really, I know we will. We will get back out there. Sure. This will end. We will get through it. You look back through history, humans have travelled after pandemic and plagues in the past. So we will be back out there. People mustn't be fearful that we're stuck here forever, as it were. But we've got to get through this. We absolutely do. Thank you, Simon. It's always a joy to talk to you. Thank you always cheer me up. Lots of love. Thank you very much. An incredible <laughs> journeys with Simon Reeve continues Sunday, eight o'clock on BBC Two. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now, and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.